Welcome to another session of customer service. Today's topic of discussion is organization standards. You may have gone into a retail store and realized all the employees are neatly dressed and are dressed in a similar manner. Why do you think that is so? Every organization tries to align the employee's appearance with the organization's brand. So if you walk into a big bazaar or into a McDonald's, you will find that the employees are dressed in the colors of the organization. The professionalization of the job role demands that the employees are dressed in a professional way. And it creates a sense of organizational identity. How often you have gone to school dressed in a uniform and gone for a picnic or gone somewhere out of the school and found that children of other schools are also dressed in their uniform. In that, you were able to identify which students were of your own school and which students were of a different school. In the same way, the retail organization also allows the employees to identify themselves with the organization. And the dress codes or the uniforms or the appearance of an employee also takes into account the health and safety concerns of their job. So if they are working in a cold environment, in the chill zone of the retail store, they might be dressed in a different manner. If they are working in, uh, with hazardous chemicals, they might be dressed with personal protective equipment. So the benefits of maintaining dressing and appearance are very many. Let us look at what we mean when we talk about the particular appearances. So all officers and staff have a personal responsibility to maintain the standard of appearance in an organization. We will look into what we mean by the appearance and the standards of appearance in the next slide. So if you are an employee of a retail organization, you have to make sure that you are dressed appropriately, neatly and in a tidy way. And if you are a superior or a manager, then you are responsible for ensuring that all the people in the team are dressed appropriately and they achieve the standards of appearance that have been set out in the organization. In case some employee is not dressed appropriately, then they have to guide them and tell them the appropriate manner. So when we're looking at the standards, we're looking at the overall appearance. Overall appearance has to be a particular formal standard of dress. And the dress code could be unique in all aspects like age, gender, religion and culture. So it might be a young or an old employee, a male or a female employee of any religion or culture. They all would have a similar dress code. The hair has to be well tied and well colored and it should be a natural hair color, not something outlandish like red or blue. And then the identity cards have to include the name, photo, job title and designation of an employee. When we talk about body language, we know that body language is a very important aspect of a personal appearance. So the body language of the staff has to be impressive. The cosmetics must be sober. It should not be like something you wear to a wedding or to a party. It has to be sober with light colors and should be light. So it should not be obtrusive or excessive. And if you have any tattoos, like quarter, half and full sleeve tattoos, they must be covered at all times. So when we talk about the precautions to be taken by male staff, all the staff of the particular organization has to be very careful about their appearance and their behavior in the store. The precautions for the male staff should be that the prescribed uniform is neat and clean and ironed. The hair must be short, clean and tidy. One is expected to have a clean shaven look but if you have a beard, keep it neatly trimmed so that it doesn't look untidy. Nails 
should be cut or trimmed neatly at regular intervals. So you cannot have dirty or long fingernails. And you have to avoid bracelets and earrings during official hours. When it comes to the female staff or the women in the retail organization, they have to be extra careful. Because as you know, girls have a variety of accessories and jewelry and makeup at their disposal. So they really have to keep themselves sober in a retail organization. So female staff with long hair should tie the hair at all times during official hours. They can tie the hair in a bun and cover the bun with a net and avoid any stray hairs coming over their faces. No flowers should be hooked on the hair. So you should not have flowers displayed in your hair and you should avoid dark color nail paints and long nails. So like boys, you have to keep your nails trimmed and if you need to put any nail paint, keep it in soft or sober colors. No heavy jewelry should be worn. So you cannot wear jewelry like you would wear to parties or to weddings. The jewelry has to be light. Like earrings should not be dangling. The anklets and bangles should not be noisy. And you should not wear any kind of jewelry as far as possible other than a watch. And you should apply light makeup. So any kind of makeup that you do wear, make sure it is light. You can put a simple eyeliner. You can put a soft shade of lipstick. But don't put so much that you look ready for a party or you look overdone. We have talked about a particular appearances. But when we talk about a retail store employee, they have to keep in mind that the behavior is also up to the standards expected. Here, we are looking at the pictures of retail female employees. So how they dress up and how they behave is very important. So you can dress up neatly, keep yourself neat and tidy and up to the standards of the organization. So as we were discussing, the behavior in the organization can be looked at in three aspects. Dealing with customers, dealing with colleagues and dealing with superiors. So along with the appearance that we present, our behavior has to be as per the standards of the organization. So let's look at first dealing with customers. Customers, as you know, are the king of the market. So every employee of the retail store should behave gently with the customers. If you remember, a salesperson is also a role. So like an actor, you have to forget whatever feelings that you are feeling, whether you are sad, upset or joyous. You have to present a happy and a calm expression to the customers. So every salesperson should encounter, meet or talk to the customer. So whichever customer has walked into the store, Retail store associate has to deal with the particular customer within a minute of them coming into the store. Treat everyone with respect and dignity, regardless of their gender or their age. The staff should be aware of the trends, changes taking place in the market, tastes and habits of the customers. So it might be the winter season, the clothes, the drinks would be hot, if it is something during COVID times, people might prefer big packages so that they don't have to frequent the market so often. And there might be tastes and habits of the customers might change according to the particular season and the uh, marketing habits of the company. The staff should listen carefully and intently to the customers and demonstrate respect. So whenever you speak to a customer, you have to listen to them. Make sure you understand what their needs are and then go about helping them. The salesperson has to be comfortable regardless of you have one customer or you have many customers. So you have to make sure that you can deal with all types of customers at all times of the day. 
dealing with colleagues or the people that we work with is a very important aspect. You want a harmonious environment in the retail workplace. And it helps build the relationship between the colleagues. So a salesperson should behave decently and politely with his or her colleagues in the organization. Even now, as school students, you are dealing with your classmates or your schoolmates. So you would always expect people to be nice to you. They should respect you. So whenever it is what we want, we should also give the same. So we should be able to treat others with the same kind of respect as we would expect ourselves. In a retail organization or in any organization, competition is something that cannot be ignored. But being over competitive should be avoided as it is a negative thing. So try working as a team rather than against openly competitive colleagues. Try to avoid misunderstandings with colleagues. There might be misunderstandings that happen, but try and clear them up as soon as possible. Try praising the competitive co worker for a job well done. So anything that your colleagues have done well, make sure to compliment them. And take competition positively and not personally. Then there is another aspect of our behavior and that is dealing with superiors. Superiors are those people that we report to. They can be our immediate supervisors or can be the seniors in the team. So it is very important that we are able to deal with them appropriately. It builds the relationship between the subordinate and the supervisor. The immediate superior is the boss of the subordinate. And generally, supervisors control the subordinate like workers. So if we treat everyone with respect, we also would be treated with respect. So I hope in today's session, you were able to get some insight over the appearance and the behavior that is required of you if you decide to work in a retail store. So if you have any questions, do get back to me. Take care of yourself and have a wonderful day.